Who's that creature? It's a toad. Watch this little ant coming up. It just walks right over the toad, just straight over its face. But the toad showed that ant. Hey guys, Gabby here from Gabby's Garden. And today's video is episode three of Creature Feature. So the making of this video actually started the night of that crazy storm that I mentioned in my Magic in the Garden video where the tree limb fell onto the power lines and caused that explosion of all those different surges of colors. If you haven't seen that, I'll link down below. Anyway, later into that night, after the storm had calmed a little bit, we spotted a frog climbing up the wall towards the ceiling in our family room. What on earth? How did you get in our family room? Can I keep it? <laughs> well, where are we gonna put it? We can't put it out in a thunderstorm. Despite the fact that it is a complete mystery to us how the frog got inside of our house, it was still a really cool opportunity to observe wildlife up close. Oh! I had a hard time keeping my two cats from messing with Kermit the Frog, so I didn't quite get the footage I was hoping to get. I released it before one of my cats, okay. probably Cleo, got a chance to really hurt it. It's not for you, Cleo. No, not for you. No, ow, kitty. Cats are little freaking buttheads sometimes. Seeing this frog reminded us of the toad that lives in our unfinished basement. Is that the toad's daughter? This toad has actually lived in our basement for the past three years. And quite happily, might I add, our basement is full of bugs and it's a nice, cool, damp place. Absolutely, this is like his ideal environment. There's no predators or anything like that. He is just a, a happy, happy, happy toad. Ooh, don't, don't fall. So let's talk about the differences between our buddy in the basement and our visitor during the storm. That sounds like a horror movie and its sequel, right? The most obvious difference between frogs and toads is their appearance. Toads have bumpy, dry skin with shorter bodies and legs, only capable of little hops, while frogs have smoother, wet skin and longer legs capable of big leaps. While doing research about frogs and toads, I actually came across a really good video that distinguishes their differences. So rather than retelling the information, I'm just gonna link that video down below. The channel is called Snake Discovery and the video is called Frogs and Toads, What's the Difference? So focusing specifically on our toad friend, behind its eyes are large bumps called paratoid glands that can secrete a poisonous milky fluid as a defense mechanism, basically making the toad taste awful to a predator. The fluid can also harm the predator if it's swallowed. A toad's main predator is a snake, but it also falls prey to raccoons and predatory birds. Some people get grossed out by the bumpy or warty skin that toads have, but I have an entire childhood full of catching toads to debunk the myth of you getting warts after handling one. While toads are most commonly brown and green, they can actually be found in all different kinds of colors, like this little guy in the garden. So late May, I was actually out in the garden planting seeds for sugar snap peas, sunflowers, glass gem corn, and dill when this happened. I am out here planting seeds and look who just joined me, a friend. Hi there. What's up, buddy? So I'm gonna see if he'll let me handle him. He's probably not gonna like it. The toad in, in our basement started screaming at me when I tried to handle him. You got a stick in front of your face. You're hiding your beautiful face. <laughs> Toads are great to have in your garden. 
They eat different insect larvae, flies, moths, caterpillars, spiders, worms, slugs. They keep insect populations down thanks to their voracious appetites. I think in one of the sources when I was doing research said that toads can eat up to a thousand insects in one day. Watch this little ant coming up. It just walks right over the toad, just straight over its face. But the toad showed that ant. What you see here is the toad breathing. By expanding its throat, it creates a vacuum that sucks air in through the little nose holes and into its lungs. Like all other animals, it breathes in oxygen and out carbon dioxide. Toads tend to live further away from water sources than frogs, and they excavate little shallow burrows to shelter in. During the cold months, they hibernate deep under fallen leaves, underneath log piles, and inside burrows. A good reason to leave the leaves in the fall instead of raking them into plastic garbage bags and sending them off to the landfill. Besides, that social norm never really made much sense. The layer of fallen leaves from trees is not only good for the soil, but it is also a habitat for so many creatures, including all kinds of beneficial insects and pollinators. We are a leave the leaves kind of household. The only time you'll catch us raking leaves up is if it's to make a super awesome leaf pile to jump into. When it's time to reproduce, toads will travel back to a source of water, like a pond or a stream or a lake or some kind of wetland, in order to find a mate. One website I was reading from described this phenomenon that happens sometimes called a toad ball in which a female will arrive to the breeding pond and is just absolutely swamped by all of these different males who are like super eager to mate and they're all like piling on top of her and yeah it is often fatal for the female who is drowned in the excitement how messed up is that but some females will arrive to the breeding pond already carrying their chosen mate on their back <laughs> the male fertilizes the eggs as the female lays them in a string among the water weeds. A string of toad eggs can contain up to 4,000 eggs. But don't get too excited because toad populations are actually on the decline due to a number of factors like habitat loss and the use of pesticides on the remaining habitats like people's lawns and also the dangers of crossing roads to get from habitat to habitat. According to my research, toads live five to 10 years, but some have been known to live up to 15 years. And this is living in the wild. I actually read on a couple different websites that toads kept in captivity as pets can actually live up to 40 years. 40, 40 year old toads, what? If you ever come across toad eggs, tadpoles, or baby toads, please be mindful of how fragile they are during this phase of development and how harmful human intervention could be to them. If you're curious and wondering if there are any toads or frogs living in nature around you, just go outside at night and listen, especially after it's rained. Amphibians get super active at night. Do you have toads where you live? One of the things that I love most about toads is how they look like they're constantly super grumpy. Just look at these freeze frames and let me know if you agree with me or not. Doesn't he just look like the most unsatisfied grouchy amphibian you've ever seen? For some more silly clips, stick around till the end of the video. You know what time it is. Who's that creature? Don't forget to let me know your guess down in the comments below. We actually had our 
first correct guess on the last video for the toad. And actually two people got the guess right. So I'm really proud of you two and thank you for participating in my game. High five that like button. Come on, man. Don't leave me hanging. I hope you have a totally awesome day. And as always, happy gardening. I'll see you on the next video. What on earth, Mr. Frog? Can I get that spider? Jumping spider, go away. I'm so sorry, froggy. Okay, seriously, inappropriate, dude. Way inappropriate. All right, buddy. I really don't want to step on you because you're kind of hard to see. I'm trying to blend in when I'm just looking at the entire mound. I know, I know you don't want me to touch you. No, Frankie, leave it. Leave it. It wants to go to the mound now because you don't mess with it when it's on the mound. I'm just gonna have to put you like this. I know. I know. I know. You're not very happy with me. I know. I'll put you down in a second. I'll put you down here. Over here under all these blackberry bushes. There you go. Now you'll let me handle you. Now you're gonna sit here and let me just hold you without freaking out? There we go. All right, Mr. Toad. Thanks for letting us film you. All right, back to work.